German forces occupied Łódź on the 8th of September 1939, just one week after they invaded Poland. The population of Łódź was approximately 672,000 people. One third of those were Jewish. The Nazis' plans for Łódź was to purify the city and the Jews would become a slave labour force. Before the establishment of the ghetto, anti-Jewish measures were brought into place. The Jews had to wear yellow stars, their businesses were taken by the Nazis. There are stories of Jews from Western Europe heading to the East, believing that they would uh, be treated more fairly under Soviet control. At the same time, Jews in the East were heading towards the West, hoping they would be treated more fairly by the Germans. A lot of the Jewish people met in Central Europe. You can imagine the despair, having travelled for hundreds of miles, only to meet other Jews come in from the other direction. So this small train station, Redegast, um, was the arrival point for Jews from Central Europe. It's about 50,000 Jews uh, were sent here from other places and about 5,000 gypsies as well. Between 1942 and 1944 uh, Jews were deported for extermination in death camps. It's the cattle trucks that they were sent to. And these are the original ones. So they would have been herded into these um, so tightly that it was impossible to sit down. And um, no food, no water, no toilets or anything like that. Just literally packed full of people. And they would be in them for days on end. Sometimes weeks. People would die standing up, people would have to use, go to the toilet, stood up. These are the names of the, uh, the main camps that the Jews were sent to. They got stut off, um, which is uh, North Poland, I think. Come off on now, but I don't know that one. Ravensbrück, which was the women's camp in north of Berlin, which I did visit. Uh, a few weeks ago, Sachsenhausen, which is uh, again north of Berlin, Grossrosen, I think it's Poland, and then uh, Auschwitz. Along this wall you've got um, memorials from uh, different countries where Jews uh, were sent from uh, to the Wuj ghetto. So here you've got the city of Vienna. And this um, says here, between October and November 1941, uh, around 5,000 Jews were deported to the Wuj ghetto. Elderly, bad health, they were forced to lead a miserable life in unbelievable distress. Most of them did not survive for long. They died of hunger or disease while others were murdered in the Kulmov death camp. By the time the SS liquidated this ghetto, only 113 had survived. Crammed in the cat into cattle cars, they were deported on the last train that left the Redegas station for Auschwitz on August the 29th, 1944. This is a memorial to the uh, to the Roma and Sinti people from uh, Austria, 5,000, including 2,700 children were sent from Austria to Wuj, crammed into houses, often up to 30 people per room, with no heating, no food, no water. Typhoid broke out. More than 600 died from typhoid. And then all the surviving Roma were gassed. Not one survived. This is one from the Topography of Terror uh, Foundation, which is uh, based in Berlin in the former SS barracks. And 4,200 Jews from Berlin were sent to Wuj. Almost all of them died from starvation, cold or illness, or were murdered in Nazi extermination camps. 
in Auschwitz. So they were sent from Berlin to here and then from here to Auschwitz in these cattle trucks murdered solely because they were Jewish. So during the uh, liquidation, people in the camp were told uh, that they were going to be moving to another camp um, to work and that they would be well fed. The families wouldn't be split up. The news of this spread around the camp and uh, people were starting to feel um, positive. So they were told that uh, they all had to go in these cattle cars um, but they would be transferred to more comfortable transport along the way. 55 people in each one of these cars. They were sent to extermination camps. So these are the records of the uh, people who were deported from Wuj um, to uh, various death camps. Every single record is alive. people. Unfortunately that was just one record. So these are the old train tracks where the uh, folks used to bring in initially food uh, and then prisoners into the camp and then uh, deport prisoners to concentration camps. So it now acts as a, a timeline and as you can see it's quite dark but as you walk through it it does light up. Um, so we start off in 1939 and on uh, December the 10th a uh, decision was made in secret to uh, create a ghetto in Woj. So we move into 1940 and on the, in February in um, 1940 um, the uh, ghetto was established and then it was renamed in April to Litzman Start by the order of uh, Adolf Hitler himself. All the Jews of uh, Wuj had to move into the ghetto area and on April 30th it was sealed um, so that no Jews could, um, could leave. And effectively they were imprisoned and isolated from the rest of the city. In 1941, that was when uh, Jews started arriving from other parts of Europe and uh, and the gypsies as well. So we're heading to 1942 now and this is where people were being deported and sent to uh, death camps. So the heels on the shoes or something. 55,000 people were sent from here forced to board trains and to go to uh, Shelno. Another 15,000 people were sent to be killed in Shelno. About 15,500, 16,000 skilled workers uh, were based in uh, the Wuj ghetto and um, so it was effectively um, a huge um, slave camp, a big, huge uh, labour camp. So they would make um, you know, uniforms for the Nazis, they would make all kinds of things uh, to help the Nazis in the war effort. And um, I guess uh, it's probably one of the reasons why the ghetto lasted as long as it did was because it was actually uh, of great importance to the Nazis. So in 1943 when uh, Germany were beginning to uh, liquidate all the uh, um, ghettos across uh, Poland and um, in Warsaw there was a big uprising. Ghetto and Wuj still excelled in uh, industrial production so um, 
there were still well over 70,000 people um, working in workshops and factories. In June and July 1944, 7,200 Jews were sent from the Wuj ghetto to Sharmel, where they were gassed. The ghetto was liquidated in August. The remaining 68,000 inhabitants were sent to Auschwitz. They were gassed on arrival. On the 19th of January, the Red Army liberated Wuj from German occupation. There were about 880 Jews remaining in the ghetto. Some of them had been told by the Germans to stay behind and to destroy the evidence of what had gone on here. Some had escaped deportation by hiding. Between 1940 and 1944, almost 44,000 people perished inside the Wuj ghetto. Most died of starvation and disease. Some were brutally murdered. Of the almost 200,000 Jews that were sent to the Wuj ghetto, between 7,000 and 15,000 survived the Holocaust. <laughs>